You might think this is me celebrating my big victory in the 18 mile Spartan race in Greece. Nope. These burpees, they're just a great entry for tomorrow. But you have to admit, the town of Sparta pulled out all the stops before hosting its first Spartan race. Fire barrels, tunes, photo ops in front of King Leonidas. You know, the ass kicker from the movie 300. Zach, good luck on your next Spartan race. I wish I was there to uh, join you, but <laughs> I don't really. Ah, <laughs> classic Jerry. Find someone who isn't having a good time. Even this bruiser, he loosened up, see? But let's rewind a few hours back. It was a different story. Let me explain. This is a good time. We landed in Athens, which was really cool, by the way. The door. Wow, you guys are dorks. <laughs> but that was after a 10-hour red eye to Greece. I slept probably conservatively an hour. Our rental car was on the uh, smaller side, but the conversation was great. Look at that penis. Where? It's a huge oh, dick right yeah, there. <laughs> and our first hotel in Sparta wasn't... Uh... You ever get that feeling in your gut that you're about to be brutally butchered by a madman in a hockey mask? <laughs> exactly. What should we watch? Not how I'd normally spend the 24 hours leading up to a race. I'd prefer to be doing things like carving up, soaking my bones, or even giving myself a pep talk. No obstacles stand in your way. But that's not how it went down. My Fitbit doesn't work. Sure, it was an awesome disaster. I can't find anybody. They can't find me. I can admit that now, with hindsight being 2020 and all. This is a huge mess. But at the time, when I was knee deep, or pits deep in it, I was singing a different tune. So, that was a hot mess from the start. <laughs> the last one to start this race. Well, hello there. You're just in time. I'm about to dominate obstacle one. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you for your concern, but I'd be even better if my crew captured that spill on camera. Seriously, where the hell are those three? In three hours, no Zach. The challenge here is to run three Spartan races. And if there's no record of it, how am I supposed to achieve my dream of becoming the next flash in the pan internet celebrity? Had I known the crew was working off of this map, all right, it wasn't that map, but close enough. I wouldn't have acted like such a uh, old project. It hinges on us sinking up. With a screwed up start time, oh, a GoPro on the fritz, we missed him. and seemingly no way to contact my team, I was forced to slow down and started to think that this trip was gonna be a bust. This is a huge mess. And then I stopped and looked around. Dude, you're in Greece. Are you really complaining about this? I've officially given up on trying to finish with a respectable time. However, things are looking up. I met some new friends, and hey, there's my crew. It's so good to see you. Hi, everyone. Hi, Sarah. You guys are all in this with me. All is right with the world. Couldn't be a more gorgeous day. And I spoke too soon. <laughs> And Sarah just had the best fall of the day so far. Are we having fun yet? This blows. For me, and for everybody else. Yeah, this mud just made this obstacle like 10 times harder. I'm soaked, cold, and layered in mud with no idea how far it is to the finish line. Revise strategy, keep moving, and try to keep it together. Covered in bruises, a million rocks in my shoes, and I'm chafing. Is that too much information? Yeah, I know what you think. That's not a very Spartan y thing to say, and neither is using the word Spartan y. From here on out, I'm channeling my inner warrior, damn it. Hey, after all, I'm running on the very ground that ancient Spartans trained on 2,500 years ago. People like the history of Sparta, it's a true history. And despite the obvious connection, Spartan race, Sparta Greece, it took two years of planning and negotiating for it to come to fruition. And now that it's here, many locals don't want it to leave. When I tell I'm waiting for this, it's not only me, it's all of the people of Sparta, I think. We want this race, we want it to come here. The philosophies, yes. That fighting spirit, uh... 
guy was seriously ripped. You gotta give me credit for nailing the ensemble. Still, we're part of a tribe and that means we stick together and we help those in need. That's what makes the experience so special. You cramped up a little while ago. It was uh, 10 minutes into it. I've had help in every single obstacle. Almost there, almost there, almost there, yeah! No! <laughs> anyway, back to the beast. What stands between me and the finish line? Some more mud, water, and a few more miles. I'm helping out this injured Canadian dude who limped 15 miles. And we cross the finish line together. The thing about this atmosphere, it's addictive. Just ask my crew, who dragged me back out to the course the next day for a five mile loop. Yeah. So yeah, the awesome disaster really was awesome. But I have to be totally honest with you. By that time, I was already getting nervous. Why? Because in about a month, I'm headed to Iceland to battle frigid weather and tough terrain in almost complete darkness. I've tapped into my inner Spartan. Now I'm gonna have to channel my inner Viking. I'm gonna need a longer beard.